Hey guys, Adam from Minkota here. We're with Wired to Fish and we're talking through the new Ultrax Quest trolling motor. Anglers are taking their trolling motors in places we never thought possible, harsher conditions than ever, which is why we built the Ultrax Quest trolling motor. So we're gonna walk through this. Um, we're gonna show you some of the features out on the water. Um, so we're gonna dive right into it. So one of the things that we didn't wanna do with the new Ultrax was just create a trolling motor with a new lower unit on it, a brushless lower unit. So instead we actually started with a blank sheet of paper from the ground up, we redesigned the Ultrax trolling motor. So you'll notice a few differences, um, but we kept everything that you're gonna love about it. So the very first thing you'll notice is the lower unit got a little bit bigger. This is a brushless lower unit, can run on 24 or 36 volts. Um, this is actually gonna be 30% more efficient than our current Ultrax, and at 24 volts, 50% more torque. Um, so why torque? Torque is power that you can feel. That's how you cut through weeds. That's how you're going to turn your boat really quickly. Um, and so we wanted to make sure that we had more fishable features for anglers. Um, to support that additional power, we also have updates throughout the mount and throughout the bracket. So connected to the lower unit, we're going to go up the shaft. The shaft is actually infused with carbon fiber. Um, so it still has a little bit of give if you run into things like stumps or rocks, um, but ultimately going to be a little bit more rigid to handle that power. Um, and then going up into the updated steering housing and depth collar. In um, the entire mount, all the pivot points, all the bushings have been reinforced, reimagined, re-engineered to handle the additional power of Quest motors. The other update that we made is actually in the prop. So every Ultrax Quest motor is gonna come with two props. There's a power prop and there's a weedless wedge. The power prop is gonna excel anytime you're in open water that you're not coming in contact with vegetation, things like that. That's gonna give you maximum speed, maximum torque, maximum output. The weedless wedge version actually has these flare tips. So if this one's gonna shed weeds a little bit better, but ultimately still maintain performance throughout the entire RPM range. So one of the things that we wanted to focus on with Ultrax was making it easier to stow and deploy than ever before. So we've improved our lift assist, um, and we actually offer aftermarket lift assist cylinders if you have target lock and 360 on the motor to make it easier to get it in and out of the water. But you'll notice once we put it in, um, we actually have, it's auto straight ahead. So as soon as the motor engages into the bracket, the motor's gonna swing straight ahead so you can get to fishing right away. The next thing that you'll notice is when you pull it out of the water, the motor actually automatically turns perpendicular to the mount so you don't have to step on the pedal. If you have a live transducer or something like that, um, you're not gonna have to worry about it because it's always gonna face upward. And you can uh, actually program that orientation uh, either in the One Boat Network app or with your remote. So the first thing that you're gonna notice about the Ultrax foot pedal is it hasn't changed dramatically. Um, so everybody seems to like the wire to the water feel of the Ultrax foot pedal. But one of the things that we've added is actually a programmable one boat network key. So that's gonna allow you to engage autopilot, mark a waypoint on a hummingbird fish finder, or stow and deploy your shallow water anchors if you have raptors or talons. Anglers wanna spend more time on the water than ever to get that competitive edge. And to do that, you need to have a more efficient motor, which we already talked about. But here's something that's gonna really put it over the edge is real-time battery monitoring. So traditional battery monitors work only when the motor is shut off. This one is gonna work whether the motor is running or not. Um, and it's gonna be available on any uh, Humminbird unit here. So we're gonna take this unit out of standby and we're actually gonna go into battery monitoring. So once we go into this, um, there's an initial setup process when you first set up your motor and you basically say what kind of batteries you have, whether it's rigged in 36 volt or 24 volt configuration and your battery chemistry. Um, and that's actually gonna tell you how much time you have left on the water or essentially the time when your trolling motor will run to empty um, at the speed you're running it at. Um, the one thing that's really cool about this is when you get down to 20% of battery life, it's actually gonna prompt you to go into what's called eco mode. So if you wanna extend your battery day, um, essentially that'll turn off non-essential functions and extend the battery life um, just the same way your cell phone does. So you continue to get a little bit more time on the water. Um, so if you're doing something like pre-fishing or if you just have you know long tournament days or, or fun fishing days on the water, um, you're gonna be able to extend those, get the most out of your time on the boat. When Ultrax first came out, I think everybody knew it for spot lock. It was the first bass motor that had spot lock available. Um, and in that spirit, we've actually packed more GPS functionality into the Ultrax Quest and all of our new trolling motor models for this year, um, including something called drift mode. In the same way that spot lock will work as a GPS anchor, drift mode works as a GPS drift sock. So if you have wind current something and you wanna go in the same direction as the wind or current, but you don't wanna go as fast as that wind or current, basically you engage drift mode and your motor is gonna slow you down, but keep you moving along at that pace that you wanna go. So you have a target speed and a target heading um, that'll allow you to dial it in. That's gonna be really great for fishing like expansive flats or anything where you, you wanna go along, cover a lot of water, um, but maybe you don't wanna be pushed as fast as the wind. The other thing that I'm really 
really excited about, about all of this enhanced GPS functionality um, is that we're actually going to have things like follow the shoreline. Um, we have a dodge mode, so if you're in follow the contour, you come up to a swim platform, you can actually go around that without canceling your navigation. Basically, you pause it, go around, and continue that navigation on from there. One of the themes of 2023 from Encoda Motors is that we want to make sure that everything's compatible with Humminbird right out of the box. Um, so not only do we include all of the cabling necessary to hook up Ethernet um, and any type of sonar that you would have built in, Quest models are going to include, include built-in dual-spectrum chirp or built-in mega side imaging, um, but the Ethernet connection is going to be built into all the models so you can hook up to a Humminbird right out of the box. If you have an Apex or Solix, it's going to hook up directly, um, and if you have a Helix, we'll actually include any adapters or dongles that you need um, so that you don't have to run back to the store. Um, you're going to be able to hook everything up to a Humminbird right out of the box and get the most out of your time on the water without additional trips. The other thing too is from a live perspective. Forward-facing sonar, obviously a big deal. We have a bigger shaft than we've ever had before on this Altrex, and it's a little bit more square than it has been. So we need an additional mount because of that for our live transducers. That's gonna come in the box with every Altrex Quest model. So we've talked a little bit about the features of the new Altrex, but now let's get on the water and show you what it can actually do, all the power that we were talking about. Um, so the first thing that you're gonna notice um, is the torque that we were talking about. So it's gonna immediately move the boat really, really quickly um, back and forth. Um, probably throw the cameraman out of the boat, but even just going in a forward direction. Uh, so we're already cranked up to... We're going 3.3 already, 3.6, 3.9. We touched 3.9. So 4.2. 4.2 with three guys in a 21-foot bass boat. Um, but now here's the real test. We're going to kick it in reverse. Everybody hold on. Um, because this is, the, again, the torque and the power that we're talking about. So that's stopping power, going directly backwards. So against the transom, back trolling basically, we're going over three miles an hour in reverse. So this is gonna help you in those higher current situations, um, higher wind situations, it's gonna hold you really tight. Um, but it's a Minn Kota product, so I don't need to tell you it's going to be reliable, going to be durable, going to be extremely quiet. Um, so the sound of the steering motor is quieter, um, but actually the sound of the physical operation of the prop is a lot quieter. So that was a sneak peek of the new Ultrax Quest trolling motor. If you want to learn more about the Ultrax Quest or any of the new 2023 trolling motors in our lineup for Minn Kota, go to www.minkotamotors.com, find the one that's right for you, or just explore the new trolling motors from Minn Kota.